السلام علیکم سکس پی ایم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی سمیرا کامل دا ہیڈ لائنز فرسٹ پرائم منسٹر سیز پرزنٹ گورنمنٹ از امپلیمنٹنگ اسٹرکچرل ریفارمز ایجنڈا ان آرڈر ٹو برنگ ڈریل چینج ان دا کنٹری سپریم کورٹ ٹوڈے اپ ہیلڈ اسلام آباد ہائی کورٹ ورڈک سسپینڈنگ سینٹنس آف نواز شریف اینڈ مریم نواز ان دا ایون فیلڈ کیس Governor of Tabuk Province of Saudi Arabia, Prince, called on Chief of Army Staff in Rawalpindi today and discussed the matters of mutual interests, including regional security. The report of Police Reforms Committee was launched today with a roadmap to overhaul police in line with modern challenges. In occupied Kashmir, complete shutdown is being observed on the second consecutive day today in Shopanya and Kulgam districts against the killing of two youth by Indian troops. <music> South Africa winning third test match in Johannesburg today, clean sweeped Pakistan in the three-match series. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has said the present government is implementing structural reforms as per its election manifesto in order to bring change in the country. He made the remarks while talking to the heads of different departments of the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting in Islamabad today. The Prime Minister said the government efforts are not aimed at serving personal interests but directed towards bringing improvement in the country and lives of the people. The Prime Minister asked the Ministry of Information to play its role in projecting government's reforms agenda and its objectives. Imran Khan said a strong, vibrant and responsible media plays a pivotal role in development of the country and keeps the people well informed. He said the Ministry of Information should play a more proactive role to keep the people abreast of the government's policies through the media. He said that we are fully cognizant of the deliberate propaganda campaign unleashed against the government's policy regarding media. He said there is need to expose this propaganda while taking media on board. Supreme Court has upheld Islamabad High Court's verdict suspending imprisonment sentences awarded to former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif and his daughter Maryam Nawaz by Accountability Court Islamabad in the Avonfield reference. The order was passed by a five-member bench of the court headed by Chief Justice Mia Saqib Nisar while hearing the case in Islamabad today. The court dismissed NAB's appeals against IHC's verdict and ruled that institution has failed to provide ground for cancellation of bails that IHC had not exceeded its authority in granting bail to convicts in Avon Field reference. Information Minister Chaudhary Fawad Hussain, commenting on Supreme Court's verdict in the Avon Field case, has said that it is legally correct. In a tweet, he said extraordinary reasons are required for the cancellation of bail. He, however, said the verdict has caused no change in the situation practically. The minister advised the PMLN to bring forward a new leadership being an important political party as Nawaz Sharif's politics has finished forever. Governor of Tabuk Province of Saudi Arabia, Prince Fahad bin Sultan bin Abdul Aziz, called on Chief of Army Staff General Kamar Javed Bajwa in Rawalpindi today. During the meeting, matters of mutual interests, including the regional security situation, came under discussion. Chief Justice of Pakistan, Amiya Saqib Nassar, launched a Police Reforms Committee report titled The Police Reforms Way Forward at a special ceremony at Supreme Court in Islamabad today. The report provides some major recommendations to overhaul the policing system, including a redressal of public grievances by establishing complaint redressal mechanisms at central police office level, regional levels, across all provinces and Islamabad capital territory and in the districts. The report recommends provincial justice committees be made functional. The report recommends improving quality of investigation by establishing state-of-the-art training institutes and a better forensic support. Addressing the launching ceremony, Chief Justice Mia Saqib Nisar said the report provides a roadmap to revamp the police department, keeping in view the modern challenges. He expressed the hope that implementation of the report in letter and in spirit will bring about a visible change in the functioning of the department. The Chief Justice said depoliticizing policy and police, making it people-friendly, are at the core of recommendations. He said a strong police force is a prerequisite for providing a transparent and efficient justice system in any country. 
This is Radio Pakistan. Minister for Water Resources Faisal Wauda says the government is continuously striving for development of water reservoirs in the country. Replying to a question during question hour in the National Assembly today, he said informed the House that 32,139 acres of the land has been acquired for the Amir Bhasha Dam, which is 86% of the whole total land to be acquired. Minister for Water Resources has said 31,977 acres has been acquired in Gilgit, Baltistan and 162 acres in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. He said the government through its ex executing agency, WAPTA, has completed Mangla Dam raising, Gomal Zam Dam, Satpara Dam and the Rawat Dam to store water with a total storage capacity of 3.91 million acre feet. He said the Amir Bhasha Dam, Mohammed Dam, Kuram Tangi Dam and Nai Gaj Dam are at implementation stage. Minister for Religious Affairs Nurul Haq Qadri responding to a question said Madaris have a crucial role in construction, development and moral values of our society. He said Pakistan Madaris board could not become functional because Wafakas and Tanzimat did not nominate their representatives on the board and refused to adopt the government initiative. Opposition leader in the National Assembly, Shehbaz Sharif, has said terrorism has reduced as a result of Zarbe Azb operation. Talking to media persons in Islamabad today, he said the military courts created fear amongst the terrorism and the terrorists, which led to decline in terrorist acts. Shehbaz Sharif said they will mull over the extension in military courts if the government approached the opposition on this matter. In occupied Kashmir, complete shutdown was observed for the second consecutive day today in Shapanya and Kulgam districts against the killing of two youth by the Indian troops in Kulgam district. According to reports, all shops, business establishments and private offices were closed while public and private transport was off the road. Despite heavy deployment of Indian forces in Shapanya, people continued to visit the residences of the martyrs Zinatul Islam and Shakil Ahmed Dar to express solidarity with the bereaved families. Indian troops martyred them during a cordon and search operation on Saturday. Shutdown was also observed in Nagbal, Sura, and adjoining areas of Gandharbal and Sirinagar as a youth was critically injured in Indian forces firing on the funeral of martyr Zinatul Islam in Shopanya. U.S. President Donald Trump has threatened Turkey with economic devastation if it attacks Kurdish militia in Syria. He was talking to media on his return from Camp David to the White House in Washington. Meanwhile, addressing a news conference in Ankara today, Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlo Shoslo said economic threats from the United States will not benefit anyone. He said Turkey has repeatedly made it clear that it is never afraid of threats. He further said that strategic partners should not communicate through social media. In Bangladesh, garment industry workers continued to protest today in Dhaka for better wages. According to reports, several thousand workers from around a dozen factories demonstrated on a highway on the outskirts of the capital and tried to put up a blockade. South Africa winning third test match in Johannesburg today clean sweeped Pakistan in the three match series. The score is South Africa 262 and 303, Pakistan 185 and 2000. 273. And finally, the weather. Mainly very cold and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 24 hours. Foggy conditions are expected at a few places in plain areas of Punjab, Upper Sindh and Peshawar divisions. To end the news, here are the headlines once again. Prime Minister says the present government is implementing structural reforms agenda in order to bring real change in the country. Supreme Court today upheld Islamabad High Court's verdict suspending sentence of Nawaz Sharif and Maryam Nawaz in the Avonfield case. Governor of Tabuk province of Saudi Arabia, Prince, called on Chief of Army Staff in Rawalpindi today and discussed matters of mutual interest, including regional security. South Africa winning third test match in Johannesburg today clean sweeped Pakistan in the three match series. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk. And also watch live streaming of our bulletin on the link, facebook.com slash radio, Pakistan News Official.